Hello and welcome to the chess chapter, the chapter of my journey that I share with you online, my tip to get to 2,000 rating on chess.com. I like to start out with a puzzle. Let's hop right into it. Checks, captures, and attacks. That's what we look for when we're doing a puzzle. Let's see here. What are our checking opportunities? This is a check. Doesn't seem great. And that seems like my only... Oh, here's a check. We have a check here and a check here. That's definitely not it. Let's explore our options here. We get this check. He can move straight back. Okay, cool. I don't think this is going to be it. We could do a slide over here. Does he have any threats? He could come here. He can take. Uh, so we don't want that. So maybe we do want to move this here first. Because then we could come here. He could come down. Then we would get this. Uh, possibilities. Possibilities over here for sure. Um. Could go here. I just don't think that's going to do us any good. What is this guy threatening? This is a check. Seems like it, and it forces him straight back. Which then we could push our um, pawns forward. Uh, give me just one second. All right, sorry about that. My dog was stuck underneath my chair. All right. We step down. Is a check. It seems like the first the first move. I would like to know what the follow up idea is. We could go here. We could go here. Are we happy? We have one, two, three, four, five pawns on one, two, three, four. We'd be up a material with a pass pawn. Seems advantageous. Okay. I I knew I didn't have an, a follow-up idea, but is it it is here first. That makes sense. That's so easy to that's so easy to think about. I don't know why I can get there. There's too many moves. So this was one of the ideas I had, because we could prevent a threat, but then I didn't do it because he gets to take. But obviously. We just immediately push the king back and would have been easy. Let's do another one. Make sure we're really in the mindset here. All right. Pinned. Not pinned. I mean, this isn't pinned, but if he moves, we're in bad, we're in bad shape. This check. All right. We're looking for a checkmate, not this. It's this move. It's that move for sure. Because then if the king, queen... If I go here, he can go there. That's not going to do you any good. None of these are going to do you any good. All right. All right. That felt good. That felt good. All right. We are sitting at 1113. Let's hop in and see who we are going to face today. And if we can't keep this going. All right. We are playing against... Disney, 1245 out of France. Plus 11 if we win, minus 5 if we lose. Starting with the Carl Khan. We are getting the advanced variation. This, I did, I've been reviewing this today. I am already terrified. That I'm forgetting. Okay. All right. I actually legitimately just went over this. So we'll see. Uh, I think that the idea is to take. Okay. Your knight is hanging. This is a free pawn. 
Um, if I take, you're going to take, then I take and you lose castling rights and I'm in the middle. I really like that, I think. I'd rather you lose castling rights. Yeah. Um, what do I want to do here? Here, go check. Take. I could go check. He's just going to block. Do I want to take here and then take here? Or do I want to take, force him to take here? No, we don't want him to have that defended. Let's go here. Everything should just match up. We both have uh, basically same positions going on, except I can castle and he can not. So let's get to business on getting ready to castle. This seems like really advantageous for me. I'm very happy with my position. He can't castle. So nothing to worry about. This pawn is hanging now. Okay. There's the pocket. Um, whenever these pawns are like this, I call this square the pocket. But I don't know that this is relevant. Uh, we can get there either way. I think that this is ideal. We have check here. I can go here. Then. Okay. We want this pawn. We have a check here. Uh, do I want to take that? I think it allows us to go after this pawn, but he's here. Not super well. Okay. So he steps up. I can push this guy and then attack the bishop. Let's try that, or I could just attack the bishop. No, that knight's there. So let's just attack here. And now let's slow down. We're going to slow down, take a deep breath. We've got a lot of go stuff going on. Okay, that's okay, I think. Because really the main concept here that we're fighting for is to be able to... Claim this file. Can I attack this? No, because you're there. Hmm. I could go here and go here. Let's do that idea, maybe. Okay. What threats does he have? What ideas do he have? He can challenge here. We would trade, take, take. I don't think that's advantageous for him. We want to attack his weaknesses. Here's a weakness. Here's a weakness. This is a weakness. This is really kind of a weakness. We can get in here. That seems deadly. We can get here. Well, it's not super deadly. Well, I'm not going there. I'm going here. That is deadly. So next we push here. Okay. This works for me. So we have check. He takes. I take. And now he has no way of defending this. So his structure is going to start falling apart. I also have this now, okay? Um, I can take, he takes, I take with, check, 
and we can skewer. He's forced over here. I think I'm doing well. I think I'm doing well here. This skewers, he could defend here. What are my options? We can go here. Forced here, check here. Um, this seems like it makes it really awkward for him. Let's, okay, I think that we're really clamping down. Let's see if we cannot figure out how to clamp down entirely. If I go here, we trade off. It blocks up that pawn. I lose the bishop. If I go, I want to stay there, I think. If I go here, he can go here or here. Which one would he do? If he goes here, I can go here. If he goes here, do we force the trade? And then I can come here. Or do I just do this now? I could go here. Mm. If I go here, he can just defend. I think we want to go for the check and see what he tries to do, what he blocks with. Okay, so he goes straight there. So I can go here. Forces him back. And then we go here. He doesn't have an option. Then I go. Here. Because this is checkmate. No, not quite. Not quite checkmate. Take. He goes here. I go here. There's just not much he can do at that point, though, right? Because then I can just go here. He's blocked, blocked. I can go here. Skewer, take, take. And lock down. Um, okay. Pretty confident we're still doing well. Just trying to figure out the best way to lock this up. Go in here, take, take, it's hanging. I think uh, I guess he could go here, but then I would take and he'd be in check and that would be terrible for you. So don't do that, sir. Take, take. Fascinating. He would rather give up his rook to the bishop. I don't know that that's the right call, is it? I guess, I guess I don't know. It works, though, for him at the moment, but we just have to take out the weaknesses. So let's just go get them. How do I go get all the weaknesses? Man, he's well grounded. This is annoying. Okay, this is going to be obnoxious. So... Let's be clinical about it, I suppose. We gotta watch this angle here. Man, this is annoying. Okay, let's start. Let's just start seeing if we can't cause some chaos somehow.
Oh, there's just no way in. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. We can, um, we can already see what's going to happen here, but this should allow me the opportunity to break in here. Um, okay. If I take here, oh, you resigned. I, I won. I won. I got him. I, I'm sorry, sir. I don't want to rematch. Uh, thank you, though. <laughs> All right. That's that's four in a row. We're up to 11-24. Uh, let's take a look at this game. Okay. We play with an 86.9. Uh, a great opening. 99.2 accuracy in the opening, which is exciting because I was studying that exact variation earlier today. So pretty happy with that. Uh, a slight a loss, but for the most part, we had control of this game. Let's check it out. All right. This is the advanced variation. The advanced variation is just when they push the pawn past and don't take. Then we go here. And then this is... Uh, just, it's a, it's one of the opening plays. I am happy that that was the right play. I felt, because I, again, the idea was if I get to take the queen, I get castling rights and he doesn't, which came in handy. Uh, what should I have done here instead? Let's see. I'd like to retry that. Um... I'm sorry. This is the move that I want to retry. Okay. Is it... It's not a check. Is it this? I considered it. What do they do? They have to take... Oh, because then I... Oh, of course. Of course. Because then I, I would promote to a queen first. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. Hold on. What's the correct line? Uh, retry. Correct move here. What? Okay, hold on. I'd like to check out the analysis really quick on this. Because what if they take here? They say that's really bad. For them. I don't exactly understand. What would be the best move? I take C1. Okay. <laughs> it literally says <laughs> that to, to turn into a rook is better. Okay. So it's check. Oh, okay. Then you take and I take. So that then I'm just up a pawn. And then this is sitting there. Uh, okay. Because it's I take with check. So you take with check and then they don't have that option. And you're just up uh, a piece. Should have seen that one, I think. I think I should have seen that. Let's hop back into the review. Not a huge deal. Still slightly advantaged, but could be up a whole minor piece right now. It's just unfortunate. And then I really thought that, ooh, not the best move. This is a negative move. This is kind of where I lose the advantage a little bit. Let's retry this move real quick. Um, I just moved here because I thought, what was I thinking here? I was thinking to myself, oh, I wanted to challenge this bishop and then I could have my rook. So, I don't know. I could see something happening over here. Certainly not that. I could see this move coming into play, targeting here. Then there's that. I, I'm I'm going to go for a hint because I'm not sure. So yeah, is it just one or is it two? It's two. So we're pushing all the way in, up. Interesting. Uh, sorry. Um, I want to retry this. We're going to push here, and what do you say happens? The rook comes over. 
Knight goes in, and that's all it tells me. This prevents the advancement, which helps keep this side open. Not sure what else it does for me. This is the only way to develop the knight into the game as that move, but that's not going to get it anywhere. Potentially, it could land here and help me start causing chaos in this row. But here to here is a threat, which kind of pins the bishop there and forces him to make some other decisions. So, uh, I had the right concept, just on the wrong side. Uh, this is a mistake. Man, how do I have these many mistakes? Let me see. Just one. This will be the last one, I think, that I try. Retry. What do you want me to do here? What do you want me to do here? Is it here? Am I doing something here? I don't know. What is the... What is the... Um... Sorry. Where did I mess up? Oh, yeah, this, this. What is... What's the hint? It's move the knight. Knight could go there, or there, or here. That's blunder. Of course it's a blunder. I wouldn't go here either. So I have to go back. You just want me to retreat back. Interesting. Did make sense. Uh, I didn't like... I don't, I don't like it. Because then knight to g5... Your knight to g5, and then I would go knight d5. Going after, well, I don't know what I'm going after there. That doesn't make sense to me, but uh, oh, jump to the end there again. My bad. Great move by him, then the mistake which I am able to capitalize on, and then we are able to kind of work our way down to victory. We are on four wins in a row, which is super thrilling, and uh, it's been an exciting journey. So, because uh, it, I mean, it is, it is really a journey, and we are on it.